So this video is basically on Radeon RX Vega 64 and this video is on how to fix its fan problem. So I've already made a video on this and but this video is an update for that video and in this video we have a special software tool we can use to update our fan and stuff. So basically this software is pretty nice and you can do to make your custom fan speed for your Vega for 64, 56 and Vega Frontier and even the water cool stuff. So what you have to do is you have to make a default or you have to make settings for your Vega 64 and if you click this it's gonna load. Okay so this is gonna open and here you can do custom idle speed, target speed, minimum speed and maximum speed and then you have to select a target temperature at which the speed will boost. So to make it clear and short ideal speed minimum speed maximum speed has nothing to do and what you can probably do is the minimum speed and the target speed so let's clear thing for you do not mess the upper thing at all if you really know about what you're doing then you are allowed otherwise just leave it otherwise if you try to change this and you don't know what you changed the system will not give you display after the restart after you put the kex file into your clever so leave the upper thing and then go down here and there are only two or three basic things which you can do one is ideal or speed then there is the target speed and then there is a target temperature the target temperature is basically at which your fan will start to increase its speed and the target speed is basically uh, the maximum speed your system or your the fan of the, your Vega CPU will go if the target temperature is exceeded. So if you have a target temperature of 70 and if the system goes to 70 and 71, your fan, your uh, graphic card fan will start to speed up till your target speed. And then there is a minimum speed and ideal speed. I don't know if it's minimum or ideal speed, but you can lower both of them. For your normal day-to-day -day usage, you can just lower the ideal speed to like the minimum speed your fan, your GPU fan gonna go is around 680. So it's gonna go to 680, nothing below, whatever minimum value you put. Then you can do is this, 700 and something close to 700. That's it. And the temperature, the target temperature is 72, which I use. I just like it. And you can choose anything, nothing above 80, but I would prefer you to just use anything below 70 and 72. And the fan sensitivity uh, also does nothing. I have tried every different combination, does it give the damn shit what you do. So the go frequency, anything you change here, a little mistake, your system won't boot next time if you are using that text file and after that what you have to do is this and then you have to allow the application and then you have to check your desktop so this is the kex file you can use and here is another data you can use for ssdt if you have the kex file and if you have watched my previous video what you can do is you can open this and go in info and then you can open it with Xcode. Remember, if you have watched the previous video, then this is useful. Otherwise, you can skip just one or two minutes and you can do the rest of the video. So, you have to go here and here and in the IT config, uh, IT properties, you can copy this code, this code, and you can copy and paste this code again in the devices section of your Clever configurator. If you have watched the previous video, you know what you have to do. So after this you can go there and then you can just mount your EFI partition by going here and then you mount and then okay you open this and then you go to other folder and you just drag and drop. So I have already copied and I'm using quite one, a, a quite good one, the optimized one which I have optimized at max. So there is another offer for all of you guys. If you just want to be easy and you want it to be like vanilla thing, I have already made few of the custom fan speed 
for my Vega system. I have, I've already made few for Vega 64, 56, Vega water cool and Vega, Vega font here. All you can do is go into the description below and download the one for your graphic card. And that would be quite easy and quite efficient because I've already tested a lot of different things. And what it will do is it will start boosting your fan speed when it goes to 72 degree or above and it will keep it to close close to like 2000 and 2400 and this is the max i found playing uh, battlefield 5 on my windows and the maximum the fan went was 2400 and 2300 so i've tested different temperature and the vega normally goes to about 81 82 degree so if i say stay on 2400 or 2200 or even on 2000 the vega gpu temperature stays in the range of 81 and 82 and i read different online articles and that says it's completely fine and safe for that so what i did is i made a custom file which says the lowest fan speed is 680 which is close to 700 and the lowest your fan will go is 700 if the temperature is close to 30 to 40 degree and it will gonna start boosting after 60 to 70 and then it gonna go to a max of 2400 and it will be really really nice and it won't be audible at all fan speed of 2000 so if you're even playing a game without a headphone it won't be a pain for you that's what you can do and it will be really helpful for the graphics rendering because it's not going to make any noise and it's not going to damage your graphics card so that's it that's all for this video guys hope you liked it hope you understand it and if you have any question query please feel free to ask in the comment section below and i know it's a long time i haven't made a video and if you have any question just please stop mentioning your specs before the question so i know which specs are there and what system you're talking about because i get a lot of questions and all of them ask questions without referring their specifications and it's trust me it's zero percent possible to give you an answer without knowing your specification so it will be really nice if you let me know the specifications before your question and keep liking keep sharing and keep telling your friends about this channel and these videos and if you like me more you can support me on patreon the link is in the description below and i also give personal help through team Viewer, whatsapp messenger if you are a patreon supporter so help me and i will help you back more so once again Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Until the very next video, please take care. Allah Hafiz.